Chapter 5 Skylar and John Dodge Skylar and John Dodge became the fourth generation of the family to run the hotel. Skylar took control in 1954 and was joined by John when he returned from service in Korea. The two brothers and many of their staff would travel to Florida and work in hotels there during the winter season, returning each spring to prepare the hotel for reopening. The Dodgers kept careful track of where their employees were during the winter season and made sure to bring them back north for the summer. Staff would stay in separate male and female dormitories in the rear of the property. Mountain View House reportedly hosted a who's who of American celebrities, from Groucho Marx to Babe Ruth, Mark Twain, John D. Rockefeller, and Eleanor Roosevelt. An elderly guest once reminisced that as a teenager, he had the honor of dancing with screen legend Betty Davis. Many presidents visited the hotel, including Warren G. Harding, the Roosevelts, Richard Nixon, and Ronald Reagan. Dwight D. Eisenhower was especially fond of the hotel's reading room. So as not to disturb other guests with large amounts of security, Eisenhower would stay with the Dodges in their house just across the road from the hotel next to the swimming pool. The president would, however, sneak up to the reading room at night. In honor of these late-night escapades, the reading room has been renamed the Eisenhower Library. As transportation became faster, many husbands would stay in the city during the week and take the northbound train to Whitefield to stay with their families for summer weekends. Mountain View House became known for its Friday night dinner dances held to greet the returning husbands. Skylar Dodge had a gift for remembering who was who and greeted guests by name as they entered for dinner. A social hostess made sure that there was always plenty for the guests to do, such as adult and children ballroom dancing, taught by George and Betty Montgomery. Guests could play bridge and gin rummy and participate in popular casino nights. The cocktail lounge was located in today's main dining room, although cocktail parties were often held by the swimming pool. Young men served as house singers, and they would invite female guests to join them on the stage. Formal dress was expected, and men wore tuxedos or suits, whilst women wore long gowns or cocktail dresses. Saturday afternoon tea parties were held on the front lawn in the shade of the spreading sugar maples. The hotel had its own tennis and golf pros that taught guests how to handle a racket and a club. In 1965, to honor 100 years of continuous Dodge family ownership, the hotel built a new conference and social events building called Century Hall, now Presidential Hall. In 1969, the world watched Neil Armstrong take one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind when he became the first man to walk on the moon. He would later visit the Mountain View House, as did a young man, author, named Stephen King. As the years went by, the vacationing habits of Americans continued to change and the clientele grew older. The days when guests would spend the whole summer season at the resort had disappeared. Schuyler Dodge bought his brother's half of the business in 1967, and in 1979, he decided to sell the hotel. At the time of the sale, it was the oldest hotel in the country owned and operated by the same family. The hotel was bought by Mountain View Associates, who soon sold the resort onward. The hotel passed through multiple owners, but after unprofitable seasons, closed its doors in 1986.